they are only proving that they are psychotic, that they are sick, because they will be voting for a man who is decidedly ill and for whom I have the compassion that I have for someone who belongs in an asylum. Where do you think the civil rights movement is going in this country? Well, I think the civil rights movement has made a very vigorous trend from emphasis on protests to emphasis on politics to settle the ma basic problems we now have. We are going to have to go to Congress and get billions of dollars for the reconstruction of the cities and for the reconstruction of the rural areas of our country in the interest of all America's poor. That is to say, the civil rights movement is no longer merely interested in the development of Negroes, but in the development of the poor of our country, regardless of their color, black or white. Oh, I'm not particularly concerned about riots here, and some of that might happen. But it would mean that the entire state of Georgia, which has been one of the more progressive states in the South, would be turned back to try to live through the post-Reconstruction period. And that is not now possible in the year 1966. And I would hope that he is not elected because I believe that the people of Georgia are basically oftenly mistaken, but an intelligent group of people. It is incomprehensible for me to believe that they would vote for Maddox. If he was elected, would that call for an active civil rights movement in Georgia, a concentration on Georgia? Well, I think it would mean that the civil rights movement in Georgia would have to become infinitely more active than it is at the present. But Lester Maddox is not out merely to brutalize Negroes, and the people of Georgia need to know that. He is out to destroy the intelligent businessmen. He is out to destroy intellectuals. He is out to destroy, first of all, white people who have power and who are trying to make an accommodation to bringing Georgia fully into the Union. 